Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Annette J. Morris, the host for the Mind TV series and the CEO of Gold Getter LLC. Y'all know each week I come to y'all with a badass boss entrepreneur that has used their business and their entrepreneurship journey to move their life in new directions. And this week is nothing different. So who do I have on the couch with me on today? Introduce yourself, girl. This is hey. one of my long time, this is my <laughs> long time ride or die dog. Here, listen, so y'all, y'all stay tuned for this one, but tell them who y'all. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Tasha T. T. I am the creator and founder of Silk Sations, natural and organic luxury, handcrafted skin and hair care products. So listen, Tasha, me and Tasha been rolling together, how long, for about 12 years at this point? Yeah. Yeah, it been, it's been a long time. Yeah. Tasha is the most ambitious person, like one of the most ambitious people like you would ever meet. Literally, Tasha started out with probably coming to my vision board party. So I think that's how exactly. we met. Okay. That's okay. How, um, Tasha will come to the vision board party, do her vision board, leave from right there and go home and three days later start another business. I was like, I ain't never seen nobody implement and manifest as fast as her. She is so determined. Like if she says she gonna do something, you can put your bottom dollar on the fact that it yeah. is going to be done. Trust me, I, I've never seen this level of ambition. I, I mean, even in myself. <laughs> like, you know, look, you know, I'm like very, very goal oriented, but like, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna say even in myself joking or whatever, but I know for sure, like you are, you are a rare commodity because I know there are people that have, have attended my vision board parties and I've, I've talked to them throughout the year and be like, okay, so what did you accomplish off the vision board? Oh, I, one girl told me, I had to put that vision board in my um, closet and forgot it was there. I was like, so you weren't even trying to manifest that life that you created. She was like, I really forgot. I was like, that's why I say put it on your wall because if you don't see it out of sight, it's out of mind, really, like right. the old people used to say. And that is so true. Yeah, so no, you are, she is truly a manifester, y'all. If nothing else, she is truly a manifester. So tell the people about the bit. like you've had other businesses before this right. business now. What other businesses have you had in the past? Okay, so for 17 years, I was a uh, professional hairstylist. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I woke up one day and decided I wanted to start my nonprofit, mm -hmm. Poetry and Motion Care Bears for Terminally and Chronically Ill Children. Mm -hmm. Since I grew up chronically ill, was born chronically ill, I started my nonprofit. Um, but I was spending a lot of money mm -hmm. uh, for the t-shirts. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it's got to be a better way mm -hmm. for me to save more money. Mm -hmm. Um and I was sitting on the side of my bed one night and I was talking to God about it. And I'm like, well, what can I do to cut down on the cost mm -hmm. of these t-shirts? Because when we go to the hospital visits, I would take like 10 people with me mm -hmm. and we had to be you know, All I with wanted uniforms right. mm -hmm. with the logo and everything. So everybody would know this is portrait and motion care bears Correct. visit in the hospitals. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there and I'm talking and I was like, you know, if I say I'm going to do something, like mm -hmm. you said earlier, right. I'm going to do it. And I was like, I know I could do my mm -hmm. own t-shirts. I was like, but where do I begin? Mm -hmm. Five minutes after that prayer, one of my really good friends called me mm -hmm. and she was like, hey, ladybug. And she was like, you know what I was thinking about? You could stop spending so much money on t-shirts and I could teach you how to start your own t-shirt business. Wow. Five just minutes that after, fast. Just that fast. fast. Just that fast. And... I started my t-shirt company, uh -huh. Poetic Situations Design, and it's been a very lucrative business for eight years. Yeah, yeah. So, And she doesn't mind sharing knowledge, because listen, I got to the point where, because um, I had my nonprofit at the time, yeah. and I wanted to give the girls um, like a job, like to employ them or whatever, right? Um, so she came and taught my girls how to print t-shirts, how to do the vinyl print. It was the vinyl right. print at the time. Yeah. So she came, taught them. We, she told me the equipment to buy, you need to buy this, you need to buy that. Like, didn't have no, I was like, Tasha, look, I'm going to pay you i want to pay you i don't want you to do all of this for free she was like I, I, i'm not I, 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 take this money I, you know take this money i want you to come teach the girls xyz so she actually came to the office once we got the equipment taught the girls did a couple of sessions with them until they got comfortable and taught them how to print t-shirts so that was a way for them right. to generate so they was printing the t-shirts for our t-shirt phase like we don't do that no more i just ain't got that kind of time but i really miss it because it was like my art therapy it just was so you know it's just like therapeutic to be able to do it yeah i just don't have the time to do it no more y'all but she was the one that taught us and that's how we got started in the t-shirt business because yeah. she came and did classes like with no hesitation and then watching you progress mm -hmm. with the t-shirt business I started having other people because you made a post on I social media. I sure did. Media, and people started flooding me with, how can I learn? I live in this state. I don't, you know, live close to you. Mm -hmm. So I started teaching them how to do t-shirts t -shirts online. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was shocked because I was like, now how am I going to do this? But I put a plan in place. Yep. 
Mm -hmm. And I implemented it. And right now, there are so many successful business women that yep. have t-shirt t businesses. businesses yep. Because after you, mm -hmm. it just blew up. Yeah, because I give credit to everybody. If yeah. you do something for me or whatever, and I feel like it's good and effective with good customer service, I'm going to refer you to everybody. So I posted that on social media. Listen, this is how I learned. She came and did a class for me and my girl. And I wasn't even sitting in the classes. I just figured it out uh -huh. eventually. But my girls was like, oh, Miss Tasha showed us how to do this. Yeah. And Miss Tasha told us to do this. Oh, okay, okay. And then eventually I just was like, well, let me learn it myself or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of figured it out or whatever. But she definitely taught my girls how to do it. They were very excited about that particular course. And I'm very appreciative yourself for that because again you do not withhold knowledge and I that's one good thing about you i don't because yeah. i feel like i truly treat people how i would want to be treated mm -hmm. and starting off um when i got away from doing hair not because i wanted to because that's always been my passion mm -hmm. um but when i got away from doing that i was like you know how can i continue because Talking to different clients that sit in your chair, it's mm -hmm. not just therapeutic for them, it's therapeutic for you. Right, right. And my thing was, I like talking to people, I like sharing different experiences and knowledge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so when it came to me being a full-time entrepreneur, running these two businesses, I was like, it took so much. And people, girl, they keep information under lock and key. Mm -hmm. Like, Why though? I don't understand yeah, that. So yeah, I had to learned everything on my own and mm -hmm. there were so many setbacks because I didn't know so once I learned mm -hmm. I was like I'm going to help as many as I can avoid these pitfalls yes, yes. because it's even with the um onboarding with um Walmart mm -hmm. um with my nonprofit I mean not my nonprofit Silk Station mm -hmm. um after I put my products out there Walmart mm -hmm. came after me mm -hmm. and it was supposed to be a two week process mm -hmm. and it, it took me longer. six months Jesus I was ready Christ. to pull my hair out. I was ready because they don't help you. Right. You now they to came to out. me. I didn't mm -hmm. go to them. Mm -hmm. They came to me, but they don't give you no information with filling out uh, the application. You can call them. They'll tell you, you have to look it up yourself. So it took me six months and by me being chronically ill with a mm -hmm. brain disorder, my brain freezes on me. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm sitting there like, what am I doing? Yeah. Crying. Yeah. Like, I'm mm -hmm. so over this, but I got it. Mm -hmm. And once I got it, I was able to share. Because I'm like, they're not going to tell y'all this. Y'all going to need to know this. Right. So I wrote everything down, put it in the file, and put it on my website, and, like, download the file. Yeah. If yeah. If you're trying to get your product in Walmart. Walmart. Yeah. Or, e or any other big box store. Yeah. And then the, the different thing, in Walmart, that is crazy. Because I just had a... Um, I was at a supplier diversity um, conference this week, mm -hmm. and I was talking to Amazon. So Amazon has this specific division that's allocated to black owned businesses, mm -hmm. right? And the man was like, you don't have to worry about anything because they assign an account manager to each business to make right. sure your process is smooth. What you get in it, like they even come to you and pick up your products, right? Mm -hmm. They pick them up, you tell them how you want them packaged, they package them for you, they ship them out, they handle all returns. You have one specific uh, account manager to your account. So they make the process easy for you to do it. So Walmart, y'all can't do that? Girl. So let me tell y'all, I started Silk Stations um, because in 2014, I was diagnosed with a rare blood disorder. Um, had to get rushed to the emergency room. Mm -hmm. I was in so much of pain, they thought I came in for Tourette's because the pain was making me yelp and mm -hmm. I couldn't control it. Mm -hmm. And they did um, these tests and they ran me through a scan. They had to put dye in my blood and everything and they found a blood clot the size of a lemon. Jeez. In my liver. Mm -hmm. And they say half of my liver was already white, which meant the blood clot had been there. And they mm -hmm. say, thank God for the pain. They say, because had you laid down and went to sleep, mm -hmm. you would not be here mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. morning. And mm -hmm. I dealt with that pain for three days. Wow. Thinking it's just this, indigestion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I didn't pay it no mind. So in 2014, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, a brain disorder, um, a nerve disorder in my face mm -hmm. that they, it's, uh, called trigeminal nyalgia, but for okay. short, they called it the suicide disease. Oh, wow. Because they say it's the second most painful pain known to man. Mm -hmm. And my doctors say, I have the worst case they've ever seen. It wow. hits you out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And you can't stop it. Right. You just have to go through it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I really know why they called it the suicide disease because I literally would try to stab myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My kids would actually lay on me to try to keep me from harming myself because the pain is that bad. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, due to the blood disease, disorder weekly mm -hmm. I have to 
have my blood tested to mm -hmm. make sure I'm in the safe zone. Correct. And okay. being a cosmetologist for 17 years, I was like, I knew this, mm -hmm. that everything we put on our skin mm -hmm. goes into our bloodstream. Yeah. But you know how you just go about your day thinking, you know, I'm okay, good. You, good. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. once that reality set in, it was like, I was in a wheelchair by the way. Oh, wow. And uh, because of the multiple sclerosis and I suffer with chronic pain. So I'm sitting in my wheelchair and I'm sitting up there praying. These people done told me I had five and a half years to live. Mm -hmm. So I'm mm -hmm. supposed, according to them, I'm supposed to be gone this Right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But they say if by some miracle I survive, by 2018, I'm supposed to be permanently in my wheelchair. And staying up and let the people see oh, you. Yeah, ain't yeah, no, she ain't in no wheelchair, y'all. Ain't no, no ain't no, ain't no wheelchair. She's, you see, she's staying. No she stood there and she's sitting all back down, okay? She didn't even come in here on a wheelchair, so praise be to God. Okay, thank yes. you. Okay. So I'm sitting there and I'm talking to God. I'm like, my children are still in school. I need to see them graduate and everything. So I'm sitting there like, and I'm crying and I'm begging and I'm pleading. And I'm like, what can I do to help, you know, try to save my life? I was right. like, because I'm not about to accept no five and a half years. Right. Mm -hmm. A light bulb went off in my head like that. Kid mm -hmm. you not. And I rolled myself in my bathroom and I'm looking around at all the stuff that's sitting in my bathroom. And mm -hmm. I started pulling it. And mm -hmm. I'm looking up the ingredients and almost everything was harmful, mm -hmm. was synthetic, was poisonous. And I'm like, and this is going into my bloodstream. Right. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I have this blood disorder. Mm -hmm. And I can't keep, you know, I'm constantly in the hospital because they can't keep my blood levels in a safe zone. Mm -hmm. So I started making my own products, mm -hmm. not to start another business. Yeah, I had but just to save your own life. Yeah. The t-shirt thing. Yeah. So I was like, I'll just start making me some products and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Did a whole lot of research, trial and error, you know, what works for me. And three months after I started using my products, mm -hmm. my doctor called me back in. Um, because again, they have to test my blood every week. So they seen something different mm -hmm. in my blood this mm -hmm. time. And I'm thinking every time this man calls me, it's bad, bad news. news. Yeah, so, so now you like bracing there. yourself, huh? High alert. Yeah. I'm on high alert. My nerves bad. And I'm like, oh my God. So when I go up in there, he was like, Miss Nakin. He was like, what you been doing? Uh -huh. I was like, what you mean? He said, for the first time in three and a half years, your blood levels have stabilized. So he was like, whatever you are doing, keep, keep doing, doing it. it. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, the only thing I changed was the products I'm putting on my hand and my skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was like, so what are you doing? I said, making uh, natural products for myself. Mm -hmm. And he was like, well, keep doing that. He's like, because something in that is working. Mm -hmm. And I kid you not. So I started sharing it with family and friends. I seen the results. Um, I started feeling better. Mm -hmm. And I noticed I was able to stand just a little bit longer. Yeah. It went from me being able to stand from 10 minutes to me being able to stand for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And now I can stand for a couple of hours mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. being in excruciating pain. pain right. Mm -hmm. And I know it's because of prayer and those products. So mm -hmm. other people had started, you know, telling me how good the products was when mm -hmm. I was sending out samples. Mm -hmm. I have so many chronically ill silkies that use my products that attribute to the progression mm -hmm. of their health mm -hmm. due to silk stations. I have so many uh, cancer survivors yeah. that talk about not only how mm -hmm. the products help to grow back their hair, but mm -hmm. how they had these dry patches on their skin from radiation yeah. and silk stations cleared it up. Mm -hmm. Mom's telling me they've been going to dermatologists for two, for three years with stuff, their huh? kids for mm -hmm. eczema mm -hmm. and using silk stations mm -hmm. cleared it up. Yeah. So I was like, it's something to this. Mm -hmm. And then I remember one day I was trying to figure out, you know, how I could be bigger on a bigger scale. Mm -hmm. um, so I was looking for influencers, you mm -hmm. know, how can um, you help? Um, how can we collaborate? Mm -hmm. And I reached out to a lot of them in New Orleans, crickets. <laughs> crickets. It's a, it's a disgrace. Like when you in your crickets. own hometown and people yeah. from your own hometown don't even acknowledge you until you make it big and then yeah. they, they want to acknowledge you and you was their cousin and their best friend. Yes. You know, once you'd have made it big or whatever, you acknowledge. But I tell people, you know, Jesus Christ wasn't acknowledging his own home. So right. it's okay if we not, you know, go out and to make the connections, the big connections or whatever. And when you come back, if you feel like being bothered with the exactly. people here, then do so. If not, then don't. So I made it a matter of prayer once again, because if y'all haven't figured, I'm a praying She's a praying woman. woman. Okay. I really am. <laughs> Um, so I'm sitting there praying and I'm like, Jehovah, how can I, you know, send me somebody who's going to help, you know, catapult, yeah. mm -hmm. and get the name out. Mm -hmm. Never knew nothing about 
Tabitha Tabitha Brown. Brown. Mm -hmm. Never mm -hmm. knew nothing about her, but somebody posted a video of her, and she popped up in my news feed, and her personality yeah, was you just gotta love so her personality. beautiful. Yes, Girl, absolutely. I hit her inbox, uh -huh. and I was like, I know you don't know me. I was like, but your personality drew me to you. Uh -huh. And I was like, I'm friend, and I'm talking. I was like, and you popped up in my news feed, and I said, listen, I have these products that I created to help save my life. Uh -huh. I said, would you mind trying them? I said, how much do you charge? She said, oh, no, sis. I'm not going to charge you anything. She said, send them to me. She mm. said, if I like them, she said, I'll talk about them. And I was like, okay. Okay. So, man, her had a report. We was talking back and forth every day, uh -huh. literally talking. And I sleep one night because I'm in so much of pain. And my phone keep going off. And I'm like, what is wrong? What is going phone? on? What is going on? Everybody texting me, everybody calling me. And then, you know how they do, do, do. I'm yeah. making sales. And I'm getting get my phone. Uh-huh. And I get, I read one of the text messages and they say, sis, get on Facebook right now. Tabitha Broad is talking about sensations. Okay. Girl, this lady shut down my website ah! three times. <laughs> That's a good she problem, man, okay? Three times. And I That's was like, good what problem, in the world? Day. And she was like, she sent me a message. She said, girl, them products are the best products I ever used on my hair. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay. I was like, so how can I get you to be you know, a regular for mm -hmm. silk station. Mm -hmm. And I was like, how much, you know, do you charge? Mm -hmm. She said, no, ma'am. She said, baby, your products are gold in a bottle. She said, I will not charge you. She said, here's what you do. She mm -hmm. said, make a flyer. I'm going to send you a picture. Because she had did a photo shoot with my products, and I didn't even know. What? She said she loved them that much. She did a, a photo shoot. Wow. And she sent me the photos. Mm -hmm. She said, make a flyer. Put me on, tell them I love your product. She said, but tell them your Curl and Defining Cream is my favorite product. And mm -hmm. that's what I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for a whole year, she was my brand ambassador. Girl, you gotta love it. She was my brand ambassador for a whole year. And all yeah. I did was hit her inbox. Yeah, yeah. And it just went from there. That's good. So that's good. I was, yeah. So then it was like with Walmart, <clears throat> I pulled my product because. When you are a small business, a lot of people don't know when you work for these, when you're dealing with these big box companies, companies. Mm -hmm. you're no longer working for you. Mm -hmm. you're, you're working, working for them. them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And their process was so tedious and it was so, oh, it was just a whole mess. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, Silk Stations is luxury. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't get luxury. From there, yeah. From the big box Mass stores. producing and, and yes. put them out in this, you know, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is another thing. Um, a couple of the other big box stores came after me and they wanted me to mass produce silk stations, mm -hmm. but I handcraft everything myself. Mm -hmm. And every single manufacturer I talked to, they were like, well, we're going to have to change your formula. But it's like, how? Y'all don't even know my formula. Yeah, and you're going to commercialize it and exactly. then add the same poison to it what I'm my, trying to get away from. Yep, just stick yep. my label. I even had a big box company ask me, could they buy my business for $2.5 mm -hmm. And it was like, we'll put um, our brand on it, but mm -hmm. it'll still be your product. So but, but it can't be my products. <laughs> and I was, girl, look, my silk is love silk station right. products. Them people don't know they're not getting the they same thing. Know. But that's yep. what happens with a lot of businesses, a mm -hmm. lot of small businesses like ours. You start off doing good, and then these people convince you to sell. And people tell me I'm crazy. Like, 2.5 million, you could have just started another business. But I'm like, I created this to save my life. Right. I'm not cutting no corners. Right. And I'm not about to be lying, giving y'all something that I know, I know I'm not making yeah. and mm -hmm. I know not going to work. Mm -hmm. And don't know what's added to it because again, exactly. what was added to the other products was adding to your problem. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm not willing to let y'all do that. So mm -hmm. I'll keep handcrafting my own products. Mm -hmm. I turned them, turned them down and I'm like, I'll just keep, you mm -hmm. know, selling from my website mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. from the hair salons that carry my products or from the barbershops that carry my products. Mm -hmm. I'll do it that way, but I'm going to continue right. making silk stations because it's not just helping me. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. It's helping so many others and because yeah. they've had great success with it mm -hmm. and so have I. Mm -hmm. I don't defy the eyes, the eyes that were stacked against me, mm -hmm. why would I compromise that for any dollar amount? Absolutely. That's not who I am. Right. And right. I'm not about to compromise my integrity personally or mm -hmm. for my products mm -hmm. and give you something that I know is not, it's not yeah. yeah, it's not worth it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So y'all hear how Sensations <clears throat> has helped Tasha's life to move in new directions. Because not only does this business, so Tasha has to stay a full-time entrepreneur, right? It's mandatory for her because she doesn't know when she's going to get sick, right? So if you if you have some type of illness, um, Tasha's the person that you want to stay connected to and talk to, right? Because sometimes 
the pain is debilitating. So Tasha can't even get out the bed sometimes. So entrepreneurship is very necessary for her. Right? You can't work for somebody and then be like, I need two weeks off because I don't know how much pain I'm gonna be in. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Right. So, so for some people, entrepreneurship is mandatory, right? So I always talk about entrepreneurship from the perspective of flexibility and freedom that it gives you, right? So she has the ability to say if she needs to take, you know, take care of herself physically because she's having a pain episode or whatever it is, hey, listen, I'm gonna take this whole day, I'm gonna lay down, you know, whatever it is, or get in the kitchen and get in her, her room or whatever, her lab and, and, and create products, right? She has the flexibility to be able to do that. So entrepreneurship not only works for people that want freedom and flexibility, but, but for those that have disabilities that can't, you know, go on an, an ordinary nine to five. Cause I mean, ain't no company gonna let you just keep taking time off like right. that before they be like, you know what? We need to replace you. It's time to replace exactly, you. Exactly, because mm -hmm. I get upset and frustrated with myself having to take time off. Um, when I have a pain episode, mm -hmm. like I literally physically can't get out of bed sometimes mm -hmm. for two days. And sometimes when I'm making my product, my curling defining cream, is my top seller mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. i cannot keep it in stock mm -hmm. and i have to use this big immersion blender mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it shuts my whole body down for at least three days oh wow so wow. if i'm going to make a 10 gallon mm -hmm. bucket of it i know for the next three days i You're can't be do out of nothing yeah. except for phone calls and emails because mm -hmm. i can't get out the bed because right. my body you know, shuts down. And then I've tried several times for disability. Mm -hmm. Then people done denied me 15 times, y'all. Well, they gonna keep denying you. They, they, said, they hope they wear you out. <laughs> last year they said I can't get it. They was like, because they sent me the therapy and everything. And they said they understand I have um, debilitating disorders. Mm -hmm. They said, but because I'm not legally blind, they can't approve me for disability. Oh. So, so working for me, yeah, I gotta go. I gotta oh. be blind. Child. Well, you know what? Let me keep my sight. <laughs> Y'all keep y'all money. Let me keep my sight. I, I don't want to be legally blind right. just to get a couple of dollars. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention, too, with making Silk Sations products, y'all, at 27, I had a stroke. Mm -hmm. By the time I was 35, I had three heart attacks. And I suffer with high blood pressure really bad. Mm -hmm. Now, in my family, it runs rampant. Mm -hmm. Um, and so we figured it was hereditary, but come to find out the blood disorder mm -hmm. contributed to my high yeah. blood pressure. Okay. And since 2020, I have not had issues with my high blood pressure. See that? Yeah. Because I do everything natural and organic. Mm -hmm. I don't use any products other than silk stations mm -hmm. on my hair and my skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing. And so I, I order from uh, different vendors, like mm -hmm. um, my raw shea butter, it comes directly from Ghana. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I use pure raw stuff because people using that stuff, that especially that shea butter that they buy from the health store, mm -hmm. baby, they done stripped all the nutrients yeah, out of yeah. it and mm -hmm. they're overcharging you and they're not even giving you the full amount that they claim and it does not work well. So mm -hmm. I would recommend that people don't use that um, if you're trying to get quality and mm -hmm. that's what I offer and I tell people any day for me is quality over, over quantity, quantity. Yeah, yeah. any day mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I make smaller batches mm -hmm. um, to make sure you're getting the purest mm -hmm. of the pure and at the end of the the barrel when I'm done making it, mm -hmm. that's what my household use. We use right. was at the bottom. Right. I don't make some special for me. Right, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. go make something, something else. Something else for everybody yes. else, right? Yeah, I, they get the prime. They, they get the yeah, top. Yeah. They, they get the very best yeah. from silk stations. And it's like I don't because of the pain. Mm -hmm. Honestly, and the exhaustion that comes along with that, mm -hmm. I don't want to continue doing physical work. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to stop my products either. Correct. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But this is my way of having an income, so I have to work. Yeah. Even through the pain. Yeah. And I'm always smiling and trying not to look like what I'm going through. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I'm never not in pain. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, making these products and the amazing results my silkies get, yeah. they make it worth it. Absolutely. For me. Yeah. Absolutely. So what's next for Tasha? Girl, what's next for Tasha? Mm -hmm. I am actually. Um, considering doing book number three because i keep getting asked about book number three is this gonna be a poetry book it is okay but tasha a poet too y'all that's why i asked <laughs> yeah um it's going to be a book of poetry but in my books i tell stories okay and everything is personal for me Correct. it's not anything i have to make up it's mm -hmm. personal mm -hmm. um and on this journey of um fighting my way back from death mm -hmm. um it's like a part three needs to happen yeah so that's what I'm looking forward to. And I'm looking forward to having 
$30,000 mm -hmm. for my sales. Mm -hmm. I reached my first goal. Which was? 1500 1500 A week. A week. Okay. All right. That was my goal. So I reached that goal. Mm -hmm. So now I'm like, you know what? 30, 30 Let me months. go. Yeah. Gotcha. Cause you know me, like you said, when I put it out there, cause like when I wanted to do my TV commercial, uh -huh, uh -huh. I was like, I want to do a TV commercial. The very next that. day, jumped everything yeah. into plan. When I wanted my billboards up in New York, I did that. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. said I was gonna write a book. I done did two. Two of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if I put it out there and say I'm gonna do it, gonna I'm do gonna, it. gonna do it. Mm -hmm. So y'all yeah. hold our accountable. Make sure we yeah. see that book in 2023. All right, y'all. <laughs> she better have that book coming out in 2023. But y'all, y'all gotta hear Tasha do some poetry. Um, one time we're gonna have to. Bring Tasha back one time so she could do some oh, poetry for y'all yeah. in between the show because she is she kills them on that poetry. Thank I promise you, you baby. You. That's probably the first thing that I I knew you to do. Um, yes, because you gave yeah, me the event yeah. and you had me to be one of the speakers. speakers. Yep. at the evening she was and she did poetry at my event. Yep. Mm -hmm. she said that was her first speaking opportunity. She ain't stopped talking since. Thanks. <laughs> she ain't lying, y'all. She ain't lying. We we need we need her to tell her story because yeah. it's inspiring, right? Because a lot of people and I had a lady that came here um about a month ago or whatever um somebody referred her to me for me to be her coach and she was saying um she was a teacher but she has two children with um really terrible disabilities so mm -hmm. now she can't work anymore because she have, had to take so much time off to you know deal with them or whatever and um she was like i really need entrepreneurship to work and wow. so you know she secured a session with me or whatever and we kind of gave her some the plan or whatever some of the things that she needs to do for her business to help it to grow so she can continue to get mm -hmm. more clientele and she can because again she doesn't have any options she got to be right. like this has to work or it has to work that's the only two options that's she it. had that's right it gotta me. work or it gotta, it gotta work. work yeah it that's gotta, it i'll be like it gotta work and it's gonna work yeah, yeah. and that's it so um yeah just let, letting people know that even if you have a disability that can't stop you from growing and glowing in life um you see tasha she is here she was told she was gonna not gonna be here no more she's present in the body yeah. <laughs> okay and also that she was in a wheelchair and she's no longer in a wheelchair she's walking so when you have um when you still have life there's still opportunity for you to do whatever god has called you to do whatever you purpose to do but then also um figuring out the entrepreneurship way for you to do the things that you're doing right you literally just have to figure out who your target audience right. is and sell to that target audience that's the the premise of entrepreneurship so i hope if you all don't get anything that you grasp that from um the conversation with tasha today tasha tell the people how they can stay in touch with you and how they can follow you you can follow me on TikTok, Instagram at silk underscore sations. You can also visit my website at silksations.net. So Sations is S-A-T-I-O-N-S, y'all. Silk Sations. Um, you have a personal page too or just a business page? Um, Tasha and I can. Okay, knocking is N A Q U I N. Yes. So follow her on both of those, um, Tasha Nakan and um, Silk Sations. Stay in touch with Tasha. Again, if you are somebody that's struggling or fighting with a disability and trying to figure things out, Tasha is the person that you want to connect to. Like you heard her story here today, but it's so many more layers to her story. So I promise you. Like more. we just didn't have more, <laughs> enough time to talk about everything. But Tasha is a badass. I mean, I tell y'all, like I've been connected to her for about twelve years now. She fights through everything. Like Tasha ain't gonna let nothing hold her down. And I encourage you to do the same. Stay connected to Tasha. Follow her and stay connected to your girl, me. Go get an LLC, right? And I want to see you all next week. Same time, same place for the Mind TV series. We're going to bring y'all another badass boss. It could be a chick. It could be a guy. I don't know who's going to be on the show next week. But we're going to bring y'all somebody, and they're going to talk about their entrepreneurship journey and how entrepreneurship has helped them to move their life in new directions. So until then, see y'all next week. Talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.